Hello everyone, and welcome to Historic Adventures. Today, we're exploring the fascinating Denby Castle. Enjoy the journey through time. In the annals of Denby Castle's history, the grandeur of its main entrance stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the Edwardian era. This imposing gateway, adorned with meticulous detail, served as the focal point of ingress into the fortress. Upon approach, visitors would first encounter the Barbican, a protective outer passage nestled beyond the castle's moat, boasting its own formidable gateway. This threshold lay the heart of the castle, marked by the awe-inspiring Great Gatehouse. Comprising three majestic octagonal towers, this structure commanded respect and admiration. At the forefront of the gatehouse stood the main entrance, an imposing arch adorned with intricate embellishments. Above this arch, a niche proudly displayed a statue believed to depict the likeness of King Edward II, symbolizing the crown's authority and presence within the castle walls. Remarkably, Denby and Cairnafon stand as the sole fortresses boasting octagonal towers, their masonry adorned with distinctive bands of color and regal statues adorning their entrances. This architectural choice was not merely aesthetic, it carried profound symbolism. Denbigh's ascension marked the displacement of David Ap Grufford's former stronghold, while Cairnafon became the administrative center of Edward I's reign in North Wales, supplanting the authority of Llewellyn Ap Grufford. Though the exact symbolism woven into these architectural elements may be shrouded in the mists of time, their message of authority and power echoes through the centuries, ensuring Denby Castle's place in the annals of history. Within the protective embrace of these three towering structures lies the beating heart of Denby Castle, a vast central hall steeped in history and guarded by formidable defenses. To access this hallowed space, both friend and foe embarked on a perilous journey. They traversed a passage fortified to withstand any assault, passing beneath the menacing gaze of murder holes embedded within the vaulted roof. From above, defenders stood ready to rain down projectiles upon intruders, while a portcullis stood as an ominous barrier, challenging all who dared to venture further. This threshold awaited a door, its outward swing belied the strength concealed within. Flanked by arrow loops in the side walls, it served as a final obstacle before the sanctuary beyond. Yet the path ahead held one final test, a second portcullis poised to seal off entry to the hall. Just a stone's throw away, a door on the left beckoned travelers into the porter's lodge, offering respite from the trials of the journey and a glimpse into the daily life within these ancient walls. The marvel of the octagonal hall, its grandeur etched in stone for the ages. High above, a storage chamber nestled beneath the vaulted ceiling, supported by sturdy corbels designed to bear the weight of the chamber above. Plans were undoubtedly laid for another chamber to grace the upper reaches of this hall, yet whether these aspirations were ever realized remains shrouded in the mists of time. The tower rising proudly along the eastern curtain wall, its silhouette casting shadows upon the annals of history. An irregular hexagon, it stands tall and formidable, a testament to the craftsmanship of ages past, stretching skyward for three-storied heights. Access is granted only at the courtyard level, where time has woven its tapestry of secrets and tales. Within its ancient embrace lie the hallmarks of its majesty, most notably two grand fireplaces, each an impressive 16 feet wide, adorning the ground floor's north and south walls. Yet, these magnificent hearths tell a story of adaptation and evolution. Likely added in a later era, their presence required the ingenuity of craftsmen to fashion flue passages, diverting smoke away from the upper windows. Such modifications stand as a testament to the tower's enduring utility and the resilience of those who dwelled within. Venture further, 
and the whispers of change become more pronounced. Windows, once portals to the world beyond, now stand sealed, their openings filled with the sturdy embrace of red sandstone. Each block tells a tale of alteration and repair, a testament to the enduring spirit of preservation that breathes life into these ancient stones. As you stand in the presence of this venerable tower, let your imagination wander through the corridors of time. For within its walls lie the echoes of generations past, waiting to be uncovered and cherished by those who dare to seek their wisdom. Welcome to the Green Chambers, nestled snugly against the southern expanse of the Eastern Curtain Wall, a silent testament to the craftsmanship of the mid-14th century. As you step into the depths of history, you'll discover the secrets hidden within these ancient walls. Beneath the earth lies a basement adorned with two vaulted rooms, their dimensions unequal, yet equally steeped in intrigue. Here, amidst the cool embrace of stone, the echoes of centuries past linger, whispering tales of bygone feasts and storied gatherings. Evidence of drains, carefully woven through the fabric of the curtain wall, hints at the storied purpose of these chambers. Bench seating, worn by the passage of time, bears witness to the abundance once stored within these hallowed halls, wine, meat, and the bounty of the land. A cavernous recess in the wall, standing sentinel at this subterranean level, still cradles a drain, a relic of eras long gone. It is here that one imagines the hustle and bustle of daily life, where hands once washed and laughter echoed against the stone. As you stand amidst the remnants of antiquity, let your imagination soar. For within these green chambers lie the echoes of a vibrant past, waiting to be rediscovered and cherished by those who seek to unlock their mysteries. As we venture alongside the venerable Poston Tower to the west, we encounter the remnants of a gatehouse known as the Upper Gate. Though time has weathered its once imposing presence, traces of its legacy linger beneath the modern wooden bridge that spans its former location. Here, two pits serve as silent sentinels, marking the spot where the drawbridge and its counterpoise once stood, facilitating passage into the castle grounds. Casting our gaze southward from the eastern flank of the Poston Tower, we behold the sturdy wall that once formed the boundary of a steep descent toward the lower gate. Its counterpart, a companion wall, stretched forth from the western side of the upper gate, enclosing the passage in a protective embrace. Step by step, we follow the path of history, tracing the footsteps of generations past. Along the left side of the passage, steps carved into the stone offer safe passage for pedestrians, while on the right, a sloping ramp once provided a gentle descent for steeds and their riders. As we stand amidst the echoes of antiquity, let us pause to honor the enduring legacy of these ancient fortifications, where the stories of kings and knights are etched into the very stones upon which we tread. At its core lies the ground floor chamber, a sanctuary known as the treasure house. Within these walls, the riches of history were safeguarded and the records of Denvig's lordship found their resting place. Here, amidst the echoes of antiquity, the tales of generations past lay enshrined, awaiting discovery by those who dare to uncover the secrets held within. A formidable outline of defences emerges, etched into the landscape below the southern and western bastions of the castle. Stretching between the Poston Tower and the Exchequer Gate, a series of terraces weave a protective tapestry, enfolding the fortress like a mantle or cloak. In times of uncertainty, these terraces stand as stalwart guardians, fortifying the castle where it lacks the added shield of the town's defences. Serving as an outer ward, they shield the heart of the fortress from potential threats, ensuring its safety and security against the tumultuous tides of history. The Sally Port, a marvel of ingenuity crafted by the hands of history. Concealed within the fortress walls, it serves as a clandestine passage, offering a gateway to both intrigue and defiance. 
this hidden thoroughfare is not merely a corridor, but a conduit for boldness and strategy. Here, in the shadows, plans are hatched and missions undertaken in the cloak of secrecy. Its purpose extends beyond mere convenience. It is a tool for launching surprise attacks upon the enemy's lines, striking fear into the hearts of those who dare oppose. In times of siege, when the walls seem impenetrable and hope hangs by a thread, the Sally Port becomes a lifeline. The Red Tower, its distinctive octagonal form standing as a testament to the craftsmanship of ages past. Named for the abundant use of red sandstone that adorns its walls, its legacy dates back to the early days of 1374. Once, a grand staircase graced its entrance, leading both downward to the basement and upward to the two upper floors, offering access to the towering wall walks beyond. To the left, these steps ascended, beckoning explorers to new heights and vistas. Yet, hidden within the very fabric of its walls, lies a secret passage, a defensive route carved into the thickness of stone. Here, concealed from prying eyes, lies a pathway leading to the Exchequer Gate on the town wall, a strategic conduit for those charged with safeguarding the fortress and its inhabitants. As we stand in the shadow of the Red Tower, let us ponder the tales it holds within its crimson embrace. For within its ancient walls lies a saga of resilience, strategy, and the enduring spirit of those who once called this fortress home. The depth of the well at Denby Castle is around 50 feet deep, in meters that would be around 15 meters. In terms of its history, the well at Denby Castle would have been vital for supplying water to the castle's occupants during times of peace and especially during sieges. Access to a secure water source within the castle walls would have been crucial for sustaining the defenders during these conflicts when the castle was under siege. The well would have required regular maintenance to ensure its functionality, and it likely underwent repairs and restoration efforts over the centuries. Today, while the exact historical details of the well may not be fully documented, it remains an important feature of Denby Castle's architectural and historical significance, attracting visitors interested in exploring the castle's medieval heritage. As per a tradition documented in 1535 by Tudor historian John Leland, it is said that Edmund, the eldest son of Henry de Lacy, met his demise by falling into the well. The Pigeon House was a symbol of status and prestige, a testament to the wealth and influence of those who called Denby Castle home. Its graceful arches and sturdy walls stood as a silent testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring legacy of medieval craftsmanship. Today, as the echoes of history fade into the mists of time, the Pigeon House remains as a humble reminder of the past, a beacon of bygone days when life within these walls was a delicate dance between survival and splendor. Step into the heart of Denby Castle, where the whispers of centuries past linger within the hallowed halls of the expedition room. Here, amidst the ancient stones and time-worn relics, the spirit of adventure beckons, inviting visitors to embark on a journey through the annals of history. In the expedition room of Denby Castle, their legacy lives on a testament to the enduring thirst for exploration that binds humanity across the ages. So, as you stand amidst the artifacts of ancient expeditions, let your imagination take flight, and may the stories of the past inspire you to embark on your own journey of discovery, wherever it may lead.
Standing alone amidst the passage of time, the West Tower stands as the sole remnant of St. Hilary Chapel, a venerable testament to centuries gone by. Once a cornerstone of the bustling market town, this tower now bears the weight of history, preserving the memory of a place of worship that graced the community for six enduring centuries. Though the chapel itself has long since faded into the mists of time, the West Tower stands as a silent sentinel, a poignant reminder of the spiritual legacy that once thrived within these hallowed walls. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through Denby Castle. We hope you've enjoyed delving into its rich history and uncovering its secrets. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating content.